Okay, Simeon, where are we reading from today? Shem Samuel, verse 11, chapter 2. How about chapter 11? Oh, chapter 11, verse 2. Verse 2, thank you. Uh, and it says, this is just a portion of the, that verse. And it came to pass in an evening tide that David arose from off his bed and walked upon the roof of the king's house. So he was in his own house. And walking on the roof. Yeah, they used to do that back then. We don't let you walk on our roof, do we? No, I don't want to. No, me too. Climbing the walls is more than enough. <laughs> Do we do that? Sometimes. Okay. We do. Um, <clears throat> at that hour, David saw Bathsheba. We are never out of reach of temptation. Both at home and abroad, we are liable to meet with allurements to evil. The morning opens with... Uh, the morning opens with peril and the shades of evening find us still in jeopardy. They are well kept whom God keeps, but woe unto those who go forth into the world, or even dare to walk their own house unarmed. You know, that's, that's true, we've felt... Uh, undesirable presence in our home before, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, and that's when we've been armed. Yep. Those who think themselves secure are more exposed to danger than any others. The armor bearer of sin is self-confidence. The armor bearer of sin is self-confidence. Um, David should have been engaged in fighting the Lord's battles, instead of which he tarried at Jerusalem and gave himself up to luxurious res uh, repose, for he arose from his bed at eventide. Idleness and luxury are the devil's uh, jackals and find him abundant prey. In stagnant waters, noxious creatures swarm, and neglected soil soon yields its dense tangle of weeds and briars. Oh, for the constraining love of Jesus to keep us active and useful. When we see the king of Israel sluggishly leaving his couch <clears throat> at the close of the day and falling at once into temptation, let me take warning and let holy watchfulness to guard the door. It is possible that the king had mounted his housetop for retirement and devotion. If so, what a caution is given us to count no place, however secret, a sanctuary from sin. While our hearts are so like a tinderbox and sparks so plentiful, we had need use all diligence in all places to prevent a blaze. Satan can climb housetops and enter closets, and even if we could shut out that foul fiend, our own corruptions are enough to work our ruin unless grace prevent. Reader, beware of evening temptations. Be not secure. The sun is down, but sin is up. We need a watchman for the night as well as a guardian for the day. O oh, blessed spirit, keep us from all evil this night. Amen. Um, apologize for the choppy reading. Um, um, you know, it's true. You know, sin is everywhere. Mm -hmm. Sin is in our own home. At every time. S 
sin is everywhere. You know, we have to be <clears throat> we have to be on our guard all the time. We have to be diligently seeking God and His guidance and protection. Sin is everywhere around the clock. Sin is everywhere. Around the clock? Yes. 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 Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Satan is always roaming, seeking whom he may devour at any time of day. Yep. But the Bible says that these are like ro roaring, roaring. Ro roaring lions seeking whom he can devour. That's right? true. That is true. Remember so that. We always need to be aware and, and watchful. Um, I've been thinking about that verse. You have? Yeah. I, I've been remembering that verse for um, oh, oh, yesterday and the day before. I think it was yesterday. I was, mm -hmm. I was thinking about that verse. What were you thinking about it? Oh, just remembering it. Mm hmm. Yeah. Satan is him and his little. Uh, Jackals, as, as he put it here, um, they're always seeking. Mm -hmm. you know, David was in his own home. Mm -hmm. He shouldn't have been at that time. He should have been out in battle, but he was in his own home, a, a safe place. You know, we've always tried to make our home a safe place. Mm -hmm. um, but we've also discussed the fact that when when a Christian is exposed to sin, it's often in their own home where they, they are feel they feel safe and something is invited in unbeknownst to them, whether it's through media or, you know, visual on a screen mm -hmm. or um, so desensitized. Yeah, I, you know, and it's it's there and they you think in your own home, you're you're good, you're safe. Um, you can control that. But that's when it's it's most likely to get you, and then you take mm. that outside of your your home. You know, mm. then you're looking for it away from your home. Right. Um, those who think themselves, <clears throat> excuse me, secure, are more exposed to danger than any other. You know, when we think we're all all good, self confidence is up. Satan knows that, mm -hmm. like he says. Like he says here, the armor bearer of sin is self confidence. What is this? Um, Satan used to be Lucifer, which was the angel of music. Yes, and also mm -hmm. the angel of light. Mm -hmm. But now that he's Satan, he also he makes bad music. Right. Right. Um, I believe. Satan used to be the lead magician in heaven. Musician. Musician. <laughs> <laughs> now you Call see it, now you don't. Now you see it, now you don't. Watch uh, me disappear. Uh, and he would make music for the Lord. Yes. And he has used his me. God gave him the gift of music. And now he is using what he had to turn it to entice people into sin mm -hmm. and twist yes. and twist it and yeah. twist on yeah. the red what red yep yep the uh but you know it's, it's, it's everywhere just we have to be so careful we have to be so aware mm -hmm. you know be on be on the watch <clears throat> have to um, you know, not allow our home to be unguarded anytime. Always praying hedges around it. Mm-hmm. You know, we need a, a guardian during the day and a, like he says, a watchman at night. Satan doesn't matter what time he comes in. We just have to keep praying that, that hedge of protection. That the Lord would, would guard and protect us. Mm -hmm. The Lord is faithful. We just you know, we, we just always need to be on guard. Always be mindful. Um, that's why we so often say, you know, when we meditate, we meditate upon things of God. Mm -hmm. We don't let our thoughts run away. Uh, and and our thoughts do run away, but 
bring them back into captivity, you know, back into godly things. Godly things. That's, that's important. Lest we fall into, you know, temptation and sin and you know, like like David did. And he lived with it for the rest of his days. Mm-hmm. So did his you know, his whole kingdom. Um, let's pray. Father, we love and praise you today. <clears throat> Father, we just uh thank you for your word, Father. Help us to to learn, you know, to and just to, to always keep our mind upon you, Lord. You know, Father, I pray that you would help us to just to, to stay away from temptation, Lord. Pray against you know, Satan and, and his jackals, Lord. I pray for your just pray for your hedge of protection around this family and around this home, Lord. Father, we love and we praise you today. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.